Hey, welcome back to Matt's Garage DIY. Today, we're gonna make an oil skin tarp. So this is something I've been wanting to do for a while. A bunch of advantages to being able to make your own oil skin tarp. Completely customizable, you can make whatever shape or size you want. Uh, whether you're looking for a tarp, a bedroll, cover some equipment that's outside, um, just go to your local hardware store, buy a canvas drop sheet. You can cut it up, sew it up, whatever you need to do, and you have exactly what you're looking for. In addition to this being customizable, being able to make whatever you want, for me, there's a little bit of nostalgia with this. In today's plastic world where you can buy everything made out of plastic, I feel some of this uh, older knowledge is being lost. So I wanted to give it a try, be able to share that and uh, pass this on. So first up, you're going to need your canvas drop sheet. I bought a 15 by 20 because I'm going to be making a couple bed rolls out of it. I can cut that in half. Just make sure that if you cut an edge or if that you're making something that you hem any edges just so that they don't fray on you. Next up, got my linseed oil and my... Mineral spirits, not to be confused with mineral oil. Got a pail, a mask, and a couple rubber gloves. Um, with the mask, I am gonna be doing this outside, but it's still a good idea to be wearing a mask just uh, so you're not breathing in those vapors. That is pretty much all that you need to it. You just wanna be, be a little bit careful when using linseed oil. Uh, rags or anything that are soaked with that oil need to be flattened out and dried. Don't leave a pile of wet linseed oil rags uh, in your garage or in a garbage can. Uh, linseed oil, as it dries, gives off a lot of heat. That can potentially self-combust. So, let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna take my linseed oil, boiled linseed oil, my mineral spirits. I'm gonna mix those 50-50 in this pail, mix it up, and then there's a couple ways to do this. I'm going to take my tarps and fully submerge them in there, wring them out, hang them up on a little clothesline that I'm gonna string up outside. Another way that you can do this um, I've got some work pants. I'm going to just brush it onto those. I also have a old kind of military tote that uh, needs to be retreated. I'm going to see if I can fold this up small enough to get into my pail, but if not, I will also just brush it onto that. So let's get to it. I don't think I mentioned this before. Anyways, like I said, do a 50-50 mix. The reason that you don't use just plain linseed oil or straight linseed oil is that essentially your tarp or whatever that you're treating is never going to fully dry. That plain linseed oil is always going to end up feeling a little bit tacky. Um, but by mixing it 50-50 with the mineral spirits, that thins it out a little bit, helps in aiding in the drying process. All right, so I'm just out of my driveway. I put down some cardboard to help with the spills. Now I'm going to take my canvas tarp and start soaking it. I got a few spots where it's still not, not looking like it's fully saturated. I'm just going to rub the fabric together, make sure that that's all nicely coated. Next, take this over to my clothesline, hang it up, and we'll let it dry. Come back and check on it over the next uh, 24 to 48 hours and see what we got. So, I came to check out the uh, drying process. This is now not quite 48 hours, about a day and a half. And of course, we got snow last night. So, I'm going to kind of unwind this a little bit and uh, I think we're gonna give it a little bit more time. All right so it's been three days unfortunately we've had uh, snow for three days in a row which I was not expecting but uh, the tarp still is drying uh, the mineral spirits are all gone can't smell that anymore basically just smells like linseed oil the canvas itself has an oily texture to it now I'm not getting any of the uh, mineral spirits kind of left on my hands I'm gonna bring this into my garage now let that hang for a few more days inside my garage it's about 55 to 60 in my garage so We'll uh, let it kind of further dry for a few more days. Uh, I think typically you want to let it dry for about seven days total, but after about the first two or three days, basically the mineral spirits are gone and this is well on its way. So we'll do that. We'll come back and check in a few more days and see where we're at. All right, so tarp's dried for about a week. I think we're actually at about six days right now, but uh, apart from slight oily feel, basically dry to the touch, no more odor really coming off it. So we're uh, gonna test it up. I just hung it off the side of my deck and uh, get out the hose and start soaking it and see what happens. So I've hooked up my sprinkler. You can see right away that water's starting to just bead and roll off that tarp. 
Uh, I'm going to let this run for a bit, but uh, yeah, doing exactly what we want to see. You want to see that water beating off, not really soaking into the material itself. I'll move this camera around to the inside so we can take a look at that side as well. All right, so here we are underneath the tarp. I had the sprinkler running for about 15 minutes. You can see water dripping off the bottom. This right here that looks like water coming through is actually on the outside. That's just because the sun is on the backside. If I rub that, none of that comes off. That's all just the sort of the shadow or the outline shining through. So this is completely dry to the inside. That's exactly what we want. So I have my video already finished. Uh, I had this folded up. I was going to make my bedroll video next week. Anyways, once I picked this up, and noticed that it felt kind of warm. So it's about 68 degrees in my house. Anyways, I just took a uh, kitchen thermometer, stuck it in kind of the middle of the fabric, and you can see that in less than a minute, it's climbed to almost 100 degrees Fahrenheit inside. So that is a concern for me. This is dried for a week. Uh, it doesn't feel wet at all, but I do not think I'm going to use this for a bedroll. Um, be great for an outdoor application where I'm not, uh, not going to have it tightly wound up and stored inside my house or my garage, but not uh, not going to use this for an application where I'm going to be storing it inside for any length of time. It just uh, makes me nervous. So we're going to give the waxed tarp a try next week. I uh, picked up some wax today and I've got another chunk of this exact same material. We'll give that a shot. Uh, see if it performs equally or how well it compares. Uh, bonus is that it is uh, cheaper than doing it with linseed oil. And there's no concerns as far as that uh, spontaneous combustion. The downside is that it is a bunch more work doing it that option. But we'll take a look and uh, see how that performs. So we'll take a look at that next week.